All right, we are gonna finish our Magic Treehouse book today. We are gonna finish number 17 tonight on the Titanic. And we are in chapter nine called Time Stops. Where is it? shouted Annie. The front of the Titanic sank deeper into the sea. Jack and Annie fell forward. They grabbed the railing and held on for their lives. Maybe the treehouse fell into the ocean, said Jack. A great roar started coming from the ship. Jack imagined everything crashing forward. All the furniture, dishes, bicycles, the grand clock on the staircase. He looked down. A giant wave of water rolled over a lower deck. Jack imagined water flooding the third class corridor, the card room, and the grand staircase. He closed his eyes waiting to be washed away. Arf! Arf! The barking came from a distance. Teddy! cried Annie. Jack had forgotten all about the little dog. Holding onto the railing, he used one hand to pull off his backpack. Teddy wasn't in there. There was more frantic barking. Where's Teddy, cried Jack. He's calling us, shouted Annie. We can't look for him, shouted Jack. We'll fall off the ship. Teddy barked and barked. He's close by, said Annie. She held onto the railing and moved slowly down the steep deck. Annie, cried Jack. Suddenly, the lights on the Titanic went out. The world was pitch black. Jack couldn't see Annie at all. Annie, he shouted. He tried to move down the deck too, but the ship tilted again. Jack slipped and fell. He rolled until he crashed into a smokestack. Jack, cried Annie, here. Here, Teddy kept barking. The back of the Titanic was rising out of the ocean. The front of the ship was going down. Jack tried to go around the smokestack without falling. In the dark, he could barely see the treehouse. It was stuck between a smokestack and the railing. It was lying on its side. Annie and Teddy were looking out the window. Teddy's barking, led me here, cried Annie. Hurry, Jack. Jack crawled around the smokestack. He held out his hand. Annie grabbed it. She pulled him into the treehouse. Teddy licked his face. I wish we could go home, shouted Annie, pointing at the Pennsylvania book. Jack heard a loud crack. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Whew. Chapter 10, A Touch of Magic. Oh man, whispered Jack. He was lying on the floor of the treehouse. He was wearing his pajamas and rain poncho again. Are you okay? Annie asked. Yeah, are you? said Jack. My heart's beating really fast, said Annie. Mine too, said Jack. He thought of the Titanic sinking into the cold black sea and his eyes filled with tears. It was terrible, he said. Annie nodded. Jack could see her tears on her cheeks. Teddy licked Jack's face. Hey, said Jack, how did you get out of my knapsack? Teddy whined. Jack and Annie stroked his furry head and ears. I think he has a touch of magic, said Annie. Slowly, Jack sat up. He saved our lives, he said. And now we have the first gift to break the spell he's under, said Annie. She turned on her flashlight. She shined it on the silver pocket watch that hung from her neck. Lucy's gift, she said. The watch had stopped. The hands were at 2.20. Jack was silent. Then he sighed. That's exactly when the ship went down, he said. Annie looked at him. I guess that's when time stopped for the Titanic, she said. Jack nodded. Annie put the pocket watch on top of Morgan's note. A gift from a ship lost at sea, she said softly. They were both quiet. Then Jack took off his glasses and wiped the tears from his eyes. Annie stood up. She took a deep breath. I'm ready to go, she said. Let's put Teddy in your pack and take him home with us. She shined her flashlight around the treehouse. Teddy? There was no sign of the little dog. He's not here, said Annie. What are you talking about, said Jack. We were just petting him. He's up to his magic tricks again, said Annie. She sighed. We'll have to go home without him. But what happened to him, said Jack. I don't know, said Annie, but I have a feeling we'll see him again soon. She started down the rope ladder. Jack looked around the treehouse one last time. Teddy, he said, but the treehouse was quiet. Jack pulled on his backpack and climbed down the rope ladder. 
Annie was waiting for him. Without a word, Jack took her hand. The rain had stopped, but water still dripped from the trees. Stars glittered overhead in a clear sky. Silently, Jack and Annie left the Frog Creek woods. They walked up the dark street to their house and climbed the steps to their porch. Before they went inside, they looked out again at the night. Time might have stopped for the Titanic, Jack said, but books and memories keep the Titanic alive, don't they? It's a true story, but it's also like a myth now. Yeah, said Annie, and every time the story's told, we wished it had a different ending. Jack nodded. That was exactly how he felt. Staring at the starry sky, he shuddered at the memory of the sinking ship. He knew that he and Annie were lucky they had come home tonight. Good night, Titanic, he said softly. Goodbye. Then he and Annie slipped quietly into their house, where it was cozy and dry and safe. And that's the end of Magic Treehouse number 17, Tonight on the Titanic. The next book we're going to read is Magic Treehouse book number 18 called Buffalo Before Breakfast. We'll start that one next week. All right, have a great weekend, guys, and I'll send another video on Monday. Goodbye.